Victoria Nedza of Pennsylvania has been living with a rare form of muscular dystrophy. But she says she needs help with too many basic things. She told CBS News, I always uh, used to ask my son to stop what he's doing to come and help mom grab something. I didn't want to be a burden on him. She says she couldn't use commercially available grabbers because they required more hand strength than she had. So on a whim, she says she reached out to the robotics department at Widener University, who were eager to help. And they were really res uh, receptive and responsive right away. After designing and 3D printing, this is what they came up with. This is the touch sensor right here. What they blew my mind and came up with a solution that I didn't even think of and that works perfectly. It has enabled me to be more independent. It's a creation the team hopes will have a greater reach than just this one patient. It's pretty great um, knowing that we were able to help somebody with something that you can't get off of Amazon or you can't buy it anywhere. To be able to do this for someone means a lot because knowing that it doesn't exist. It never has existed. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.